Upon appointment by the President as Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice, Alphonse Owinidoro and Richard Butera had to be vetted by the Parliament's Appointments Committee. In an exercise that lasted less than two hours, the two men were approved without much questioning. Only concerns of corruption and case backlog in the judiciary were raised by MPs on the vetting committee. Citing his previous record, Owinidoro promised to preside over an independent judiciary without undue influence from the political establishment. So if we were receiving orders from above, we would not be having those decisions. You know, the constitutional court, which have been handling, has issued certain decisions which nobody who is under control of another would have done. I am the one who made Muyanjan Babali leave his ministerial post. Isn't that a government position? Hmm? I'm the same person who made a lady from Luero, member of parliament, to retain her seat. She's a member of the DP, she's not a, mem a member of the opposition. According to Owinyi Doro, cases will only be decided in accordance with the law and nothing else. We do not decide cases to please this or that person. We decide cases in accordance with the law. If you're on the side of the law and you're in government, we'll decide in your favor. If you're against the law and you're in government, you lose. Asked about the demands for lifting the retirement age of judges, the incoming Chief Justice gave his opinion. My view, my personal view, is that magistrates should retire at 65 years. Judges from the High Court should retire at 70 years. The appellate judges should retire at 75. Both Richard Butera and Owinyi Doro contend that unless human resource issues are improved, the judiciary will continue facing the case backlog. Currently, the Supreme Court has 12 justices, 14 Court of Appeal judges, 60 judges of the High Court, 36 registrars, and 262 magistrates. The delayed trials frustrated the public, and that sh should be worked on so that there is quick disposal of cases. But we can achieve that if we had adequate number of judges to handle the cases. Unless we recruit judicial officers in tandem with the population of the country, you will hear of case backlog after long, long after I've left. Owinyi Doro and Butera now waiting to be sworn in by the head of public service, John Mitara. Habad Ziwa. NTV at Parliament.